Hello and welcome to this Zenworks 2017 upgrade video on applying the Zenworks 2017 Update 1 to your zone. Zenworks 2017 Update 1 has new enhancements and fixes. Some of them are platform support, enhancements to bring feature parity to the Zenworks 2017 mobile device management space in ZCC, zap enhancements towards user self modifications giving the user control on which icons for the desktop. There's system update improvements for a more seamless process, database optimization, and other things. A lot of those enhancements were suggested by you through the Ideas Portal. There is a system update status link which we'll use during this process. And since we are on appliance, we'll be using the administration console. Again, once you've checked system requirements and run ZDC to verify integrity checks, you can proceed with the update. Some of the resources at your fingertips are the support documentation, the forums, and an important one is the Zenworks 2017 cookbook, which combines all the links into one TID 708169. This has prep instructions, system requirements, ZDCs to grab previous ZDCs for your zones, Upgrades to Zenworks 2017 from previous version. Those instructions are there. Applying the Zenworks 2017 Update 1 and again document links and video links to help you get a successful install. So we'll look at a couple stages when the update is occurring. When the update goes through different stages of the process, understanding where to look for the logs if it fails on one of those stages what logs to look at on the server side and what logs to look at on the agent side. The next couple of slides will cover this. Troubleshooting system update stages, for instance, download, import, and rebuild. The two logs you'd look at are loader messages log and Zman log. If you're looking to troubleshoot during an authorized state, you have these two logs. So this is a list and a reference for you so you can dial into the correct logs to troubleshoot your issue. Then on the server side, the system update logs would be these logs here. The system update log, the pre-global global action logs, again, each one of these are for different stages, but it gives you an idea of what this particular log does or represents during the system update. Again, you have the two TIDs down below for 11SP4 and version 2017. Again, on the agent side, we won't go through each one of these, but this is a reference to those logs if you should need to troubleshoot during a system update on the agent. Let's have a quick demonstration walkthrough of the Zenworks 2017 Update 1 process and features. Today, we'll be working on a 2017 appliance which has the administration console, which isn't present when the Zenworks is installed on a non-appliance model. We've checked the documentation for system requirements and ran the ZDC for system and database integrity. We've done any other preps that are listed in our documentation. And now we're going to apply the Zenworks System Update 1 to our zone. Let's have a look at our zone. We're going to run through a quick 2017 update and see what 2017 has in store for us as new enhances for doing updates. So let's log into our administration console on the appliance. And this is the port 9443, which is the administration console. One thing to point out is this is logging in as a Zen admin gives you all the Zenworks stuff you'd need. Let's go ahead and uh, log out and log in as root. And you'll see we have some other things like the firewall, storage, time, network, and other things that you can do as root. But by default, we pretty much log in as Zen Admin. And we can do everything from here. We're going to go ahead and launch the Zenworks Control Center. Log in. And we'll notice that we're currently at a uh, 2017. We'll go over to System Updates to see what this has in store for us. And we're currently waiting 
on authorization for our PRU. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. And it's ready to deploy. Let's go ahead and check for updates. And of course you can also do a manual update with the Zman SUI and import it that way. But for our zone, we can see this, so we'll go ahead and download our Zenworks 2017 Update 1. As you notice, there's a new status bar here. Each one of these represent a different process. One is downloading, the next one is preparing, the next one is authorizing, and the last one is deploying. And we'll wait for this to download and come back to it in just a minute. Getting up 21%, almost there. Once it reached 100, it went ahead and started preparing. Now if you get an error while it's preparing, another new feature, there's an action in here to retry preparing. So you can do that as well. And when it becomes an error, this will turn red at any one of these stages that it fails. And then you can check the logs to see why it failed. But for preparing, you have this to select. You can see what it's doing. And it should start opening up and extracting that package. So let's take a look at that. Let's go to WinSCP, to the appliance. Oh, one thing we have to do, we have to go to the appliance and turn on SSHD, the system services. Let's go to SSHD, action, start. Now we'll be able to log in. If we go to our var, op, novel, zenworks, if we look at content repo, system update, we'll see the 17.1 come in. Okay. Now if we go to work, System update. So in process, that didn't prepared, shows that it's prepared, should be in process shortly. So we'll let it continue preparing. Oh, it's done preparing, it's waiting authorization. So now we'll go ahead and authorize the update. Notice it moved on. And we'll go ahead and deploy this to our primary server. Do a selected device. Our other primaries are shut down. Because the first one has to do update schema. Now, we'll select finish. Take note of the status link, because it restarts the services and you won't be able to get into ZCC to watch the status. So you can highlight this. Okay. Actually, I have it up here. should see this come up and there's our update one processing the schema. This will go through the process and show you each of the processes happening for that update. Update's not started yet. We'll go ahead and wait for that to start. If we look at the pending and ZCC is no longer up, so that's a good sign. That means it's going to kick off shortly. We're going loose for a little bit and watch this as it starts. And now it's starting. Again, our ZCC is not available. Our administration console is available. We can look at logs if we wanted to in the meantime. We 
you can see it progressing. So as you can see, it's just about done completing the process. It's updating packages now, and this isn't the agent. As it says here, for the system update to complete, the, it has to rebuild the packages, which is the Zenworks Adaptive Agent Packages. But that's tracked in the control center. This is updating the packages within the update itself, and we'll wait for this to get to 100. So this, this particular display actually refreshes on its own, so you don't have to refresh the browser all the time. And as we do our second, third, and fourth, and deploy them um, all together for this particular update, they'll list all the servers in a row here, so you can see the progress as it rolls through each one of them. So this is quite handy remembering this uh, 7444 system update SU status. And the update is successful. So let's go back over to our browser. See if we can log in if the services are up. There we go. That's our administration console. Let's go ahead and reload our ZCC. Go back over here, go to the home. And Zenworks configuration. We can see we're at 2017, update one. If we go to our ZCC, we can go to system updates. It's probably rebuilding the packages. So we notice that this is deploying state for devices. We show that these are pending. We see that it's rebuilding the deployment packages. Now we can use WinSCP to again look at logs if we wanted to, but then again, you don't always have to. If we'll grab this, we'll go into the administrator console, which the appliance has, go back to home, check out logs. Go to Zenworks Logs. Go to Loader Messages. You know, give us the last bit of this one so we could see getting content for update. This is our 2017 update one. And if we go to our pre-global actions, we can see different statuses going on for this. We got a success for that update, 17.1. If we go into system update, 17.1. We then go to the bottom to our system update log. And with this GUID still in here, we could see the last five entries that were in there. Update status installing 99% was the last thing it updated on this file. Here's a full file. And we could see that it exited with zero, which is good. See that it finished here. Is a primary server. So we can look at logs right in here without having to even transfer them. And again, our configuration looks good here. Go back to the ZCC and see how it's doing. Still working on those packages. We'll wait for this update to complete for the packages to finish rebuilding.
And that's gone away, so let's go ahead and see if it's successful. It is successful, and we're good to go. Then we can deploy this to our other primaries. Um, leaving this up. This particular update took about 45 minutes, and then it rebuilt the packages. So the first primary on the appliance, with limited resources on my VMs, uh, took about 45 minutes, and uh, the others will be shorter because they don't have to go through the database schema. So that gives a quick update on how you can use the different utilities, the different uh, admin console, and the progress for updating to future Zenworks updates, whether it's 2017 update one or the next revision, should be good to go. After running the Zenworks 2017 update one and it is successful, be sure to check the system and database integrity by running the Zenworks Diagnostic Center. Zenworks 2017 update one has these new enhancements and fixes that bring more productivity to your users and environment. This concludes the Zenworks 2017 upgrade video on applying Zenworks 2017 Update 1 to your zone.